Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and good morning, and welcome to this video. So, today, today we're going to talk about release 1.9.0 and slime. Okay. So here's what I want to say. Um, I had a really, really nice producing slime chunk here um, in 1.8, 1.8.1. However, 1.9 rolls around. Whoa. There is no slime, nothing, zero. Okay, so what, what's the deal? Well, apparently 1.8, 1 1.8.1 had a bug in Bedrock, and um, the slime chunks were not aligned as they should have been. So apparently um, chunk base was correct and um, the console release was wrong so 1.9.0 corrected that which unfortunately broke my my farm here but on the bright side it now aligns with what chunk base shows okay so reportedly it's the way it should be now so what what do I do for slime? Well, let me show you. Let me take you to a farm that I started before this one that had no slime at all in it. Okay, and now, well, let me show you what it's doing now. Oh, and by the way, my poor golem, he's, uh, he's getting kind of nervous, you know. He's like, anybody got any ideas for some new work for him? Yeah, it's kind of limited down here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and here we are. Here we are at our slime farm. Now this, this is that area that I showed you in my previous slime video where I had six slime chunks, six connected slime chunks, okay? So I think you saw the slime hopping around here uh, when I first turned around. And it spawns intermittently. Um, I want you to know, though, I have spent a ton, a ton of work on this thing, okay? See, there we got another one. Now, two more, two big ones. That area where they spawn, that's my most active area, so I have to assume that the mobs that are connected however you want to say it to that area uh, that area is is cleared the best I'm thinking or there's something about the entire algorithm that spawns in that chunk first I don't know regardless I have spent lots and and I want to emphasize lots lots of hours clearing this all out for one thing I mined out this area so that I could view so I could see what was going on and and for me and my development that was extremely valuable because there's a few things that I saw you see here it's night right now and you saw that I you see that I'm getting slime when I first started on this when night came I didn't get any slime I wouldn't get any slime until it had been daylight for a while okay now so I thought about that and I says well what's what happens at night well mobs hostile mobs spawn at night okay so apparently I figured my hostile mob cap my hostile mobs are filling up the mob cap so there's no room for slime um, why why doesn't that immediately change in the daytime well that brings me to an important there you see I got a slime back over there that just spawned that brings me to an important point that I want to bring up why didn't my hostile mobs despawn in the day well when I selected this slime chunk, I selected it purely, purely on the um, 
the number of connected chunks that chunk base showed okay I didn't pay any attention to anything else I just came here I mined down to level 12 and I started clearing things out and building the the farm okay what I failed to pay attention to was what was on the surface you know what I had on the surface well, I'll show you what's on the surface now, but it's not um, indicative of what was there when I started. What was what was on the surface when I started was uh, dark oak forest, dark oak, oak, birch, and such forest. Uh, basically like a, a canopy forest. It was almost solid. In certain areas, it was almost solid forest. And so the mobs in the daytime, they just stand under the trees and the sunlight wouldn't affect them. So I had to go through probably two-thirds of the area where this farm is and I had to burn and chop. I ended up burning all the trees down and then chopping out the blocks that were, uh, that were left. Um, and that has really what brought this farm to life okay let's go take a look at this thing um, let me grab a stack of wood or something so that we have something to uh, let's just grab this dirt so that we have something to stand on because I want to I want to give you a real good view of what of what work has gone into this and things that you need to consider when you make your farm. Um, I would never choose an area like I chose, okay? So, let's just, and this is not yet complete, so, but it's getting pretty close. Let's just build up here and take a look. I just slept, so hopefully phantoms won't be knocking me off my blocks. Wouldn't surprise me, but... Now, another thing that I've done, just for my own, my own help, is I marked out my slime chunks on the surface with half slabs. Because I, I get confused, I get disoriented. So there's my slime chunks right there. The one that's in the red half slabs, that's... Uh, that's that most active chunk that you see okay so look at this you can see the stumps that were in the forest the ones that that I've left just a tremendous tremendous amount um, in most directions now I still have some lighting that I need to do I believe the only open place is some of that uh, some of that deep water uh, I believe that's the only thing I have left but anyway you want to talk about work so oh, see now I have some spawns there I don't know why because I I do believe that that's lit up well enough but you saw it happen um, maybe it's not lit up enough but I can't imagine I can't imagine why it wouldn't be I may have to go count off my blocks there but yeah, I, I, I think something is ignoring the uh, the light levels, it seems. I don't know. I'm just guessing in that regard. Anyway, point being, select your, I would select my slime farm area based on what's on the surface. Okay, not, not based on how many, how many chunks I have down below and such because it's like this how much work do you really want to put into this I put in way way more than I ever intended and or wanted to it's a crazy amount and I don't recommend it I've spent you can see the time I've spent in this it is insane yeah very much I don't know where those mobs went to, and I got a polar bear that's wandered over from that icy biome. Uh, 
I don't mind him though, if, as long as he doesn't eat me. Yeah. So I would, I would, I've been thinking I would select my area based on what's on the surface. For me, doing it again, I'm not going to do it again in this map anyway. Well, I may for you guys. But I would select a desert or possibly a snow biome. Okay, folks, a snowy biome, a snowy tundra will not work for a slime farm. I'll go into details later. Something that is flat and clear on the surf, fairly flat and mostly clear on the surface. Not anything wooded like this. This is a mess. Yeah, this is a mess, and you don't want to do it. It's just way, way, way too much work. I used about 30 or 40 flint and steels before I finally got smarter and started using lava. Lava works a lot better for mass-burning trees because it'll run downhill, and you can light a bunch of it on fire. Um, and, yeah. So, anyway, that's what I want to say about it. Now, let's go take a look. I have... This farm has produced more slime than I can imagine ever using. Um, I have collected it, and I'll show you what I've collected. But I've collected it since I've been working on this, and it's just an insane amount. Now, also, I have gone around, yes, not only the surface. Oh, see, look at this. <laughs> It's just crazy here. I, you know, it's it's amazing. I love it. I do. I really enjoy it. I enjoy watching it. Um, but uh, it just produces so much slime. However, however, the work involved and how much will I actually honestly use? Yeah, I think you got to question a few things, like maybe how much sense I have. Okay. All right. We'll just watch this a minute just because I really like it. Now, I've also changed my golem design, my uh, the actual farming portion of it, since I started. I started out with golems on top of cactuses. Ran into a few problems. The design that I had seen had the golem standing on a half slab on top of the cactus. Well, I, I had a lot of issue with... Uh, slimes despawning okay the slimes would despawn before they would see the golem so I started working on that and what I found is I knocked the half slab out and that made a tremendous difference then the slimes started seeing the uh, golems and they would uh, they would aggro on them and uh, come to the come to the kill area now so I changed this I've got a five by five um, magma block area underneath you can wear your frost walkers to avoid that uh, issue with getting burned on this but it centered a five by five area centered under the golem all right the golem is is three blocks high and I've got mine tracks with a hopper minecart running underneath it, okay? Now, um, let's, yeah. Those other balls, I'm waiting for those slime balls. I'm wondering why they're not getting picked up. Because they should be, it looks to me like. I may have to look at that. My minecart is running. Um, I have found that you do need to expand the area. It looks like I'm missing some slime balls over there, and I don't like that. Um, okay, let's look at underneath here. So you see, I am running this track one block, two blocks on this side, and I think two blocks and two blocks here, and one block here. But I think two blocks might be better. Now, I have this switch here so that I can shut this off. I have had one instance where when I left um, the minecart would not start back up. 
so I put the switches in so that I could stop it. That way it makes it easy for me to start it again. Okay, let's take a look. How is that? Now that's on top. That is on top of what I've already gotten. Now I've also got, I put in a detector rail and um, when the cart goes by, triggers that, I invert the signal and I power this uh, light which you may have seen the light flashing and what that does that just lets me know that the minecart is still running that's how I knew that it had quit previously alright yeah and you can see I got some slimes here that did not get picked up so um, I recommend and you see those are right on the those are on that fifth edge that's 13 slime balls. I don't like losing slime even if I don't really need it. Let's take a look at that. So this one goes one block and one block. I don't understand why those didn't get picked up. So I would probably expand that another block out. Yeah, these two setups are not identical. I would probably take it two blocks on each side of my kill zone. Now this side, again, it gets a lot of slime, but it's nothing like it's nothing like the other one. That one, that oh, that one chunk is uh, much more productive. Yeah, I got to switch on this guy also. This guy's sitting on a bunch of lava, so makes digging around them a little more challenging okay alright folks so that's my setup um, and I'll show you I'll show you how to build this thing and uh, a little bit about why I like it see there's another one of those messed up uh, spawning algorithm things where the farm animals don't check their their block type before they spawn down underneath in the caves and such shouldn't be happening but it does uh, reportedly that's fixed in like 10 dot something beta see there's a cow okay makes perfect sense cave cows I mean I, I may want milk down here you know you never know but I like to get rid of them just cuz uh, I don't know I don't like I don't like seeing it, it shouldn't be here Couldn't, wouldn't, shouldn't. Doesn't go too far, does it, guys and gals? Okay, let's show you how to build this puppy, all right? Okay, so I'm flying around in creative mode in a copy of my map. And there's a snow biome. Now, I would definitely consider this. Yeah, so um, here's where I choose a snowy tundra. And uh, something's messed up. And I go through a lot of work here, about an hour worth of work, before I, before I discover that. Okay? All right. So, um, you want an area that's as flat as and low as possible okay now this thing what is he 64 so he's just the majority is just barely above sea level so and I believe it's big enough that you could find a a decent spot here and select an area that is uh, let's see that is four chunks it has four chunks on pretty much any side of it and this would definitely be a lot less work than what I did so let's look at let's look at uh, chunk base okay so chunk base shows a uh, a slime chunk a single slime chunk that's really close to where I'm at it's at 1664 um, 
1664 and 1888 all right so we're we're right close to that okay now obviously obviously you want something as uh as low as you can, okay? With the surrounding land as low as you can get it. Um, yeah, let's, whoops, that's not what I want really. There we go, I got some, I got some torches right there. Don't want anything spawning on that okay so you know just a guess you'd have to go roughly 64 or 64 80 blocks so going down to 1800 that looks pretty good I don't think we're going to run into anything uh, the only thing the mountains you know probably gonna have a few more tunnels in them than uh, than a flatter land might but this would be in my opinion this would be an acceptable chunk to go ahead and try to make a farm out of alright now how would I do that if I was doing it well dig down to level 12 and don't dig straight down if you're in survival mode I'm only doing it because I'm in creative and make your 16 by 16 chunk 18 by 18 you want an extra row on each side and if you're going to fight these with a sword without using a golem making the space three high is fine all right so there is a three by three area or I'm sorry a three high area five high if you use a golem okay okay we'll dig out the diamonds let's see what we get here ah uh, we'll throw away these nuggets for now cuz that's just kinda there's five Five out of two, eight out of three. Ah, that's pretty good. I feel like if I'm getting more than two out of every diamond block, I'm doing okay. That's what I like with the with the uh, Fortune three pickaxe. Okay, so now we've gone one block every direction in excess of our area. All right. 19043 yep okay so now let's pick something about the middle of this let's go 24 we are at 1887 so if we go down to 1870 that's 17 and then we want seven more more diamonds see I I'm not gonna put the time in to all this <laughs> without building it on level 12 just me because I like I like loot you know what I mean I know you know what I mean let's just mine these real quick why not we got eight now 12 sweet 13 16 20 21 22 23 all right now we got us a little nook here 
uh, that is more than 24 blocks away. Now, are we going to get any any slime? I don't honestly know. I have lit up nothing at all. Okay, so I'm I'm getting no slime at all in the snowy tundra, and so I started running some commands to see why. I ran the commands to kill all of the basically everything except the player. Um, and I found that initially I killed some zombies, some spiders, some skeletons, and some creepers. And then after that, nothing. Uh, nothing except, when I went to everything except the player, then I got the passive mobs, rabbits and polar bears and salmon and such. So I played with this a while. Couldn't, couldn't reach any conclusion, so I went, uh, I went out of my hole up into the air and uh, I set it to night and immediately um, things started spawning okay so after watching those it was a bunch of strays and uh, I killed them watched them respawn again killed them some more set it to daytime and uh, let things spawn killed them and looked and it's only passive again nothing is spawning underground in the daytime I don't know why nothing spawns underground at night maybe because the surface mob cap is uh, eating it up I don't know um, but I have that hole underground I'm sure there's other caves but I have that hole that I made and nothing at all spawns there in the night and nothing nothing in the daytime also and in that hole I should be getting other things in the daytime alright so something's messed up with the snowy biome so after this I went to an ocean I found an ocean that was uh, that had a lot of room on every side uh, I believe the chunk base calls this a warm water ocean anyway I went there and uh, dug my hole down to the bottom built the pen as before alright and you'll see some details here in the setup of that of that trap again in either of these cases I didn't light anything up but it was clear to me something was wrong in the snowy biome I have never seen that kind of behavior in any any other biome that I built in Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here is my farm in this, uh, in this creative mode, okay? So let me go over this very quickly. You've seen the details in the rest of the video, but so make a 5x5, five five, at least a 5x5. Five five. You can make it larger if you want, but you need to have your train track one or two blocks wider than your magma cubes, okay? just to make sure you pick up all the slime okay so so make your 5x5 five five or larger magma cube square that's your kill zone then three blocks above your center square um, put a block for your golem to stand on okay now you're gonna want to do a few things such as you're probably gonna want to put blocks around the uh, the center block so that you can set your um, so that you can set your fence posts on it okay then you're going to need to put a block let me show you let me let me kill this golem so I can show you exactly what I mean here all right so sorry mister golem but you're expendable yeah sad to say it seems that way huh okay so in the center on the on the block where your golem's going to stand you need to place a block alright now you take your iron
you take your iron and you go up up to build his arms okay now now you got to go down and this can be fun now now that oh after you put the square around your center build your fence on it okay then knock that square out okay because you don't need it anymore it's just to make it easier to put up your fence okay then take that center block you may have to knock a fence post loose knock that center block out alright and we lost our fences and uh, repair your fence okay and now you should be able to put the head on your pumpkin now I'm sorry you should be able to put the pumpkin head on your golem now boom all right and he should fall right on that center block uh, I have seen a rare case where he landed on the fence and if so you know try to try to push him where he needs to be all right then make sure that that those blocks are knocked out that's how you get your golem up there okay and other than that the rest is pretty straightforward um, you know I've shown you you need to put a row of hoppers however big your your collection area is put a row of hoppers down one side going into a chest okay you're gonna you're gonna need that um, you can power rails that are over the hoppers if that power isn't touching the hoppers if that power is touching the hoppers often it locks them and I like to try I like to test my hoppers by throwing some unique item in there and making sure that it gets to the end and that ensures that all of your hoppers are pointing the right direction and you just as well find that out early so you can fix it okay light this area up down here put a switch on one side so you can shut your track off this is going to save you some headaches because if you unload the area and your minecart stops running you um, you definitely want it to stop in a place where you can start it I had mine stop out in the middle and I had to chop out a bunch of my blocks in order to to get my minecart and start it moving again with it on the edge here if you shut it off when you leave then it's simple you just you just turn it on and you nudge it and away it goes alright okay now if you want to use the activator rail to make a light just put your activator rail on top of one of your hoppers run redstone off of it and run it to your light um, I like I like it to where my light turns on when the car passes it so it's off normally uh, if it's in if it's the wrong polarity if it's inverted you can put an inverter in there and uh, and change it okay that's pretty much it you got your chest I keep a crafting table down here with my chest because you get a lot of slime and I personally don't like uh, I personally like having the crafting table there so I can just uh, compress it into blocks and be done with it okay so this is a quick and dirty no lighting up in the area no no sea pickles as of yet or anything and you know I've got 45 blocks of slime in there and uh, I put very little work in this now my area that I showed you at first with the six with the six slime chunks oh my I probably have 60 to 80 hours I'm serious of work in that most of that is because of the trees on the surface preventing preventing I guess preventing the slimes from spawning okay 
So be conscious about the area that you select for your slime farm. I would select an area like this, a deep ocean. And let me fly out of here. Let me fly out of here. This may get wet, but we'll see. Let me fly out of here and just show you this area. Um, I'm probably going to need to get a block so that I can plug this. Because I don't want to flood my, even though it's a junk a junk world, I don't want to flood it very bad. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. We'll put a little tower here by it so we know where our entrance is. Okay. So here we go. See, this is just out here. Out here in the middle of nowhere. In the water. All right? So I saw that and I said, well, let's try it. I didn't, I didn't find a desert right away that, that I liked the looks of. And after building this farm, I, I like the ocean better anyway. I think a desert would be acceptable. You just want to avoid having to light up a lot of tunnels and such things. And you certainly don't want to get stuck in cutting and burning forests like I did. All right. So anyway, for quick and dirty slime farm, no lighting up, no preparation, just a building the farm. This is pretty decent. And then you see my other one. So it's how much time do you want to put in? Two hours, 60 hours, you know, 80 hours. You go figure. Uh, how much slime do you really need? Um, most of us may get all the slime we need in a swamp. All right. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys take care of yourselves, have fun, stay safe, and have a great day, and we'll see you next time. And thanks for watching.